Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Oxford Mondial short gloves. These gloves are the wrist length version of Oxford's waterproof mid-season gloves and they cost £89.99 a pair. Some short gloves are really quite lightweight, but these are substantial and robust with an all leather construction. I'd say these are mid-season gloves that are at their best either side of summer. They're possibly a little bit too insulated when the temperature goes into the late teens and really they lack enough warmth when it gets really deeply cold. But they're pretty much ideal from about 10 degrees up to about 18, I would say. And realistically, that's where the mercury is when most of us are happy to be out riding our bikes. The leather outer for these gloves is bolstered by plastic knuckle armour and there's a panel of extra tough super fabric at the heel of the palm here. There's a panel of grippy leather where your hands wrap around the handlebars and this accordion stretch panel on the back of the hand makes life more flexible and comfortable when you're making a fist to grab hold of the bars. There's a rubber visor wiper on the left forefinger as there should be on all waterproof gloves in my opinion and I found this one effective at clearing water from my visor in my time with these gloves. It looks as though the finger and thumb have been prepared to be touchscreen friendly, but if that is the case, or it's meant to be the case, then it hasn't worked out because neither of these panels worked on my phone. So if you need to use your phone while wearing gloves, as you would if using your phone as a sat nav, for example, then I would suggest looking elsewhere. Being short gloves, there's only one fastener, it's at the wrist, but it's the one that does most of the work in keeping the glove on your hand anyway. And there is one nice touch that I've seen on these gloves. This extra protector just at the tip also stops that flap from going all the way through the loop that it mounts through. There are some things to bear in mind when you're buying a pair of short gloves. They're great for versatility as you don't need to worry so much about how they'll interact with the cuff of your jacket. And you'll also get some more airflow around your hand if there's not a completely tight seal between jacket and glove. On the flip side of that, there's room for water to get between your jacket cuff and the entry for the gloves, which does make them vulnerable to water getting into the gloves. And it also leaves potentially some of your skin exposed between the glove and the jacket, which can be a problem if the worst should happen. Switching to the inside of these gloves, they're protected by Oxford's dry to dry waterproof membrane and it's laminated to the outer shell. That means the gloves should stay dry throughout rather than allowing water to soak through the outer but for it to not reach your skin on the inside. I use these gloves for some pretty wet rides and I found them to be effective at keeping me dry. Between that membrane and your skin there's a fabric liner and that does make them feel a little bit sticky. It's quite a thin liner but I'd say it gets a bit warm in there when the temperature starts to rise. The label at the cuff here shows that the gloves are CE approved and they meet the basic level one, which is virtually a universal standard at the moment as very few gloves are rated to the higher level two as things stand. There haven't been a, exactly a stack of customer reviews for these gloves yet, but the first seven people who took the time to leave a review all awarded them a maximum five stars. In the right conditions, these felt like very impressive gloves in my time wearing them and the price is also pretty reasonable in my opinion for the quality of the construction. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Oxford Mondial short gloves, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.